Before getting started, download the Reef Breeders app from the Google Play Store. To sign up, enter your email. This could be the current email that you use in the Reef Nexus app, or a different one. After entering your email, you'll be sent a confirmation code to ensure that the email address is correct. Enter the confirmation code and proceed to the next step. Here you'll input your name and create a password. The password needs to be between 8 and 20 characters and needs to have a special symbol and a number in there as well. Next, add a profile photo if you'd like to do so. Then create your aquarium. Once all those details are filled out, we're going to go ahead and save. And then before proceeding on to the next step, what we're going to have to do is reset our lights. I recommend unplugging all the lights except for the first one you want to connect, and then plugging them in as you go. That way it's easier to keep track of your light's position, and give them a name in the app, like left front for example. Here we have an example of a photon that's already connected to the Reef Nexus app. To begin, we're going to want to use the included reset key. Gently insert it into the button slot, and then gently push upwards. You will feel a small click. Press and hold for about 8 seconds. You'll see the indicator LED flash blue, then release. Allow the light to go through its initial startup sequence, where it goes through all channels individually. When the startup sequence is complete, the light should be flashing blue to indicate it's ready to connect. When your first light is flashing blue, proceed to the next steps to connect your photon. Tap on Add New Device, then tap on Photon. Press Continue. Hit Ready. Then find your light's network and connect. Find your Wi-Fi network, and then enter the password. Remember that your Wi-Fi password is going to be case-sensitive as well as symbol-sensitive. Give it a moment to connect. When your light is successfully connected, the indicator light should be solid green. Let's go ahead and give it an easily identifiable name. Enter a description, hit continue, hit continue setup again, then move the sliders to test your light and make sure that it reacts. If the light's not responding, try the previous steps again. When done, press next to set a schedule. Tap on create schedule, set your desired on time, then set your desired off time. We recommend anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. If you like moon lights, go ahead and turn moon phases on. You can choose from manual or auto. In auto mode, set a max brightness and it will automatically follow your actual moon phases as well as actual moon rise and moon set times based on your location. For the red channel, I like to run them pretty low, typically with a maximum of 5%. The rest of the channels are auto populated at 30% and we recommend using that for the blues cool blues, and violets. I set the greens to 5% in this example, but you could turn those off if you'd like. For the white LEDs on the photons, I generally like to run them at about 30% of what the blues are at. In this case, around 10% to the 30% that the blues are on. When done, tap Save Program. Go ahead and give your schedule a name. Save it, and it'll apply to your light. With a schedule set, you've now successfully migrated to the new Reef Breeders app. If you need support, please feel free to reach us at our contact page.